So guys, let me just kind of show you what we're fishing here. This is just like a little spillway. There he is. There he is. Come here. That's a good one. <laughs> These things freaking fight, dude. What is up my dudes? Welcome to another video, man. I am in actually one of my favorite little backwoods locations here in Southwest Florida. And just look at this, guys. This is the kind of stuff that we're gonna be fishing today. I just saw a tarpon roll right there. This is just such a cool area right here. And, and there's all kinds of little spillways and bridges that you can fish back here that hold just tons of different kinds of fish that's why i like it so much we're just going to kind of hop from bridge to bridge and uh, just see what we can do i've already seen quite a few fish quite a few baits lots of wildlife saw a snake driving in so this should be a good day so we are loaded down today for anything and everything guys we've got our ego backpack right here and this backpack I carry with me always when I travel. It'll be linked in the description. Got our bubble box here for our live bait, which is sitting on our cast net right here because we are going to try to get some live bait. And uh, guys, this first little live bait spot that I pulled up to, I was going to throw the net and catch some bait, but there's tarpon rolling everywhere. So we're going to see if we can catch a tarpon on an artificial lure real quick before we catch some bait. There is a bunch of little tarpon right here. Some of them are pretty decent size, but if you watch, we'll see them rolling right here, okay? And when we see them roll, look, he just rolled right there. And when we see them roll, we're going to throw this little jig on them right here, all right? Look, there they go. They're rolling in the back right now. We need them rolling in casting range right here. Oh, yep, getting closer. I'm going to throw it that way. See if I can reach it. Ah. Oh, he blew up on that bait. Did y'all see that? Just missed it. That is cool. That is too cool. Oh, there goes one right there. All right, right there. I'm going to run it right over where he just rolled, and let's see if he'll hit it. Come on. Oh, there's a bigger one. There's a bigger one. That's the one I want right there. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Did y'all see that? Cool. He just missed it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was the biggest one I've had blow up on it yet. Really nice fish. Really nice fish. Golly. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Come on. There he is right there. Right there. Come on. There he is. Got him. Got him. There he is. Finally. Nice. Look at there. Little micro poon. <laughs> there we go. Come here, buddy. Oh, he came off right there. <laughs> All right, there's a few baits right here. Not many. Oh, they're flashing too. That may be hard. Okay. I got whatever it is. Oh, it's uh, creek chubs or something. Well, we got some, some bait. We got a little bait, not much. If we were able to land a few baits, they're definitely not live mullet, which is what I want. And I've just got a little knocker rig and this current is just flowing under this bridge. And so I'm just gonna let this creek chub go under the bridge and just kind of, uh, let's just see first if there's anything sitting under here. Well, the last little creek chub got hammered. And so that actually gives me some like hope that these creek chubs are going to do okay. I guess they're they're like little bull minnows almost is what they are. And well, we'll just kind of see. Yep, uh, he's getting hit too, guys. He's taking it. He's taking it. Oh, we're on. We're on. There he is. Oh my gosh, guys, this may be a big fish. 
This may be a big fish. Gosh dang it. I think we got a big one. He's, he's wrapping me in structure. Get out, get out, get out. He's, t he's getting me in structure. This is a big fish. This is a freaking toad, whatever this is. I'm telling you right now. Ate the creek chub, dudes. How about that? Oh, it's a big jack. Not a big jack. That's not, I didn't think that was what it was going to be. I was thinking big red fish, honestly, but that is a nice jack. <laughs> These things freaking fight, dude. Listen to that drag, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, these things fight. Pound for pound. These are as hard as hard of fighting fish as you get right here. This is cool. I like it. I like it. I thought it was a big snook at first. I was like, what? A redfish one. This one this is one of those jacks that's like just big enough to give you a hard time. Oh, he's getting in the he, don't come here. Get out of the trees. These are just, I wish we had more of these in North Florida. They're fun. Maybe I can go down here like this. Ain't gonna climb the fence this time. <sighs> Come here, little fella. Look at that pretty jack. That's a good one, man. Jacks this size are just so much fun, man. That is just like, that's a fun size jack right there is all it is. You got some shark fins because apparently he just cut me. We're going to release this guy though right here. Okay. That's about as smooth as it gets right here, guys. I'm like five feet elevated. So guys, let me just kind of show you what we're fishing here. This is just like a little spillway. And see how fast this water is spilling into this little back country pool right here. And I'm just throwing on the edges, and that's where these fish are biting. It's a really cool little just ambush area right here. And so that was that side of the, the little bridge right here, and this is this side. The water's running under there, and that's where I like to catch my snook if I could get some big live mullet. Well, I guess we need to do that again. It's funny how these jacks are in here. I've thrown artificial lures all morning and haven't caught one. You throw a little chubber in there and it gets hammered and guys i want to show you how i'm rigging right here i've got my loose ci 400 reel speed spin with a toad fish rod this is a 7.2 medium extra fast toad fish and uh as you see it handles some big fish man we've caught some really nice fish with this toad fish rod on this channel come on it didn't take long for that first one to get hit i mean he was out there no time and he got smoked, so let's just see if it happens again. We may just got a little nibbler on there, I can't tell. Ooh, he's taking it, he's taking it. There he is, got him, got him. Come here, what are we working with? Oh, we got it, that's a Grover, that's a Grover. I knew we were gonna catch some Grovers. It's always some action. Nice little Grover, we're gonna toss him back. It sure ain't taking long, guys. There is just, there is lots of action here. If I had some big live, uh, oh, he's, I'm already on. He's already on. He's already on. There. Oh, he's off. That was a grover. I think if I had some mullet, it would just be insane action right here. There he is. He just bit it. He just bit it, but he's not taking it. Come on. There he is, there he is, come here. Whew. Nice Grover. What's that? Did you get anything good? Caught some jack, some, a, a little tarpon, and some mangrove snappers. Oh, nice. Yeah, kind of, an, a, kind of an assortment of things. Should I let you keep them? If you want, but I don't, I just release them. Yeah. I bet the snapper would make a good dinner, They're good, they're really good, yeah. Yeah, and you can keep these. Yep. Well, good yeah, thank you very much. A, a mangrove snapper. Yeah. There's lots of them here. I use both. Right now I'm using live bait. Just little live minnows that I caught right here. Oh, really? Yeah. 
There he is. He's biting it again, guys. Takes two seconds. Two seconds and he's on. There he is. We got him. Yeah, the mangrove bite is on fire. Unbelievable. They love these freaking creek chubs, dude. That is wild. <laughs> hey, simmer, dude. Simmer. I'm going to toss one on the edge of the culvert here and just kind of see if there's anything in there messing around down there. Oh, yeah, there is. A, there's a freaking tree pounder. Gosh dang it. My first time getting hung up. There it is. He's out. All right, we're going to toss it right over there and see if there's a snook in the shadows over there. Ugh. But there's a really cool bridge right here that's kind of secluded that I'm going to try and, and see. I've been wanting to I've been wanting to hit this bridge and I've never fished it. And so we are going to do it right now. Y'all check this out, guys. This is just like straight back country right here, okay? And look at this this bridge. We got a lot of moving water. There could be a big fish under it. We'll see. This reminds me of just freshwater swamp fishing is what it does. Oh, that was a good cast. All right, we're in there. We are in there, ready to rock and roll. We're definitely getting hit, guys. Oh, yep, yeah. fish on. Look, oh, we got him. No way, we got a snook. Check it out, guys. <laughs> that is so cool. It's a micro snook. So guys, this is what I consider one of the coolest snook catches just because of where it's at. Look at this spot, man. How cool is this? Just like straight back country. Man, I do appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for that. That is just too cool. Let's see if you got any friends with you. All right, let's try that again and see if there is anything. Let's see if he had any buddies with him. Ooh, yep, we're on. Nope. Oh, he's biting it. Yes, he's biting it. He's biting it. There he is. There he is. Oh, what do we got? Oh, what do we got? Come here. Oh, oh, that's a nice mangrove. Look, check it out, guys. Such a cool spot, man. Why don't we have spots like this in Pensacola? I could limit out on mangrove snapper so easy. Dude, check it out. Beautiful mangrove. Beautiful spot. We're just going to let him go. Well, we're just going to keep on exploring. This is just such a cool little area. It's like each stop, we pluck a few little fish out. So freaking cool. All right, folks. We are going to try to end the day back at the Good Bridge. Catching us a big fish. All right. We are... Uh, I'm hoping these big snook are going to be blowing up under this bridge, but I don't know. So guys, I hear snook blowing up under that uh, bridge, so I just went and got the Yozuri 3D minnow right here. This is something I got off Carl's Bait and Tackle, and uh, we're going to go see if we can put this to work. And we're just going to feed this Yozuri crystal minnow under this bridge right here. There he is. There, there he is. Golly! How do you come off with two treble hooks? That's the, this is the super secret bait to use out here, by the way, is it? Yozuri 3D minnow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yozuri 3D minnow is what you need to uh, use for the snook out here under the bridges. I think the one I have is Zuri. You mean the lure? Yeah. You have a crystal minnow. This is the 3D minnow. But it's the same brand, right? Yep, same brand. There he is. There he is. Come here. That's a good one. You got it? Yep, that's a good one. Come on, baby. Ah, I want him to go this way. That's a good fish, I think. Yeah. There he's out. There we go. Now he ain't, he ain't a big one, but he's a decent one. Big old snooker. He did. He, he came up and tried to eat it and, and must have missed him. 
right there. Check it out. We might lose. Ah, he's looked an eye. I'm gonna bring him up. Ah. Check that out, guys. Nice snook on the Yozuri 3D minnow right here. Ah. Hey, chill out, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Right there. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you bite my thumb. Well, folks, that was a great ending to an awesome little fishing day here in the back country. This is such a cool place. I just like it, man. It is so awesome. But now I'm going to go find me some food 